Elon Musk is worried about you and me, and for that reason, he wants you to have more kids. That is one strange thing to ask, but Elon Musk might have a few big reasons for this. He surprisingly shares with his massive Twitter followers his opinions on the big threat we're going to be facing as humans living on Earth. Now, that's totally unexpected, but he has got some good points. First, Tesla's CEO's opinion was shared in response to a scientific American piece, emphasizing the opposite result of high-income countries' birth rates. BBC Future says, China's population is about to shrink for the first time in 60 years, despite introducing its three-child policy. While replying to this tweet, Musk doesn't fail to say it as it is. He seized the opportunity to analyze the situation. Most people still think China has a one-child policy. In reality, China has had the lowest birth rate last year, despite having a three-child policy. Was that China will lose approximately 40% of people every generation at the current birth rate, population collapse. There is a popular misconception and popular opinion that China has one of the largest growing populations in the world. But if this comes from the world's richest person, the analysis is worth giving a second thought. So, is this only China's problem? Not necessarily. China boasts more than one-sixth of the world population, yet after four great decades in which its population has risen from 660 million to 1.4 billion people, the country's population is set to fall this year for the first time since the catastrophic famine of 1959-1961. The world's largest country is likely to diminish, while aversion to having children in the face of strict anti-COVID policies may have contributed to the birth slowdown, it has been actually coming for years. Despite China's abolishing its one-child policy back in 2016 and implementing a three-child program supported by tax and other incentives last year, this has happened. Some popular theories disagree on why Chinese women are still hesitant to have children despite official incentives. It shows that people in China have become used to small families and the growing living costs. Some believe it is related to the increasing marital age, which delays births and dampens the desire to have children. Musk's response opens up more opinions from his followers and other Twitter users on this trending issue. One user said, According to Elon Musk, the greatest challenge the world will face in 20 years is population collapse. She attaches an article that explains the causes of the population decline and why it is problematic. This caught the attention of the billionaire, and he replied, Earth could sustain many times its current human population, and the ecosystem would be fine. We definitely don't have too many people. This wouldn't be the first time he is on about the issue of childbirth and how it affects the economy. Musk has been tweeting about worldwide birth rates decreases for months. The 50-year-old entrepreneur, a father of at least seven children, has identified Hong Kong, South Korea, China, and the United States as being in danger of collapse. Musk claims that the concept of overpopulation on Earth is outdated. He's been making this point for years, but is it genuine, or does he have an ulterior motive? His words Civilization is going to crumble. Before his tweet on China's economy and population, his primary focus was on Japan. At the risk of stating the obvious, unless something changes to cause the birth rate to exceed the death rate, Japan will eventually cease to exist, Musk tweeted. This would be a great loss to the world. However, he cautioned that Italy is in danger of disappearing after its birth rate plummeted to about one kid per woman last year. According to Musk, the typical woman has to have 2.1 children to achieve population replacement rates. Instead, the United States has lately generated around 1.8 children per woman. That is about half of the fertility rate in the 1950s. However, its population is still increasing. Population momentums take a lifetime to alter. So many people, including smart people, 
think that there are too many people globally and think that the population is growing out of control, he told the Wall Street Journal in December. It is completely the opposite. Please look at the numbers. If people don't have more children, civilization is going to crumble. Mark my words. As the debate heated up, more comments were added to a tweet Musk posted months ago, expressing his support for having more children. Humanity did not evolve to mourn the unborn, but we should. I am talking about not having kids in the first place. That's the problem. The internet didn't agree with the SpaceX entrepreneur, whose outspoken tweets often provoke intense discussion. Their opinions were geared towards educating the billionaire. Here are some responses to Musk's tweet. Not having kids isn't a bad thing, and the association of it being selfish for women to not have kids needs to stop. Another user added, I don't want to bring kids into the world, cause probably in a few years there is no water to feed them. They will come just to suffer the worst human behavior when the water war begins. This opinion strikes though. Not everyone needs to reproduce. Not everyone can. Despite different opinions on this topic, Musk isn't the only billionaire who is concerned about growth. He discussed the issue with Jack Ma at the 2019 World AI Conference in Shanghai, China. The population problem will be a huge challenge, Ma said. 1.4 billion people in China sounds a lot, but I think in the next 20 years, this will bring big trouble to China, and the speed of population decrease is going to speed up. You called it a collapse, I agree with you. To reverse a horrific famine, China placed birth limits on its people for decades. However, the one kid, one family regulation has been repealed. Families do not, however, suddenly have additional children though. Musk is concerned about this situation. We don't necessarily need to grow dramatically, he says. But at least, let's not gradually dwindle away until civilization ends with all of us in adult diapers in a whimper. Musk is concerned that there may be not enough customers and taxpayers to support the global economy in its current state. Beijing shares this concern. However, its efforts to persuade young women to have children have so far failed. The annual average reduction in China's working age population of 1.73% lays the stage for weaker economic growth unless productivity rises significantly. Higher labor costs, driven by a rapidly declining labor force, are expected to drive low-margin, labor-intensive manufacturing out of China and labor-rich nations such as Vietnam, Bangladesh, and India. Manufacturing labor expenses in China are already twice as expensive as in Vietnam. At the same time, China will be forced to devote more of its economic resources to providing health, medical, and aged care services to fulfill the needs of an aging population. Could this be what Elon Musk and others try to make everybody see as an upcoming humanitarian crisis? Or is Musk simply trying to justify why he has so many children? If you just look at the statistics, in the late 1980s, China's total fertility rate, birth per woman, was 2.6, significantly above the 1.2 required to replace deaths. Since 1994, it has been between 1.6 and 1.7 before falling to 1.3 in 2020 and 1.115 in 2021. In contrast, the overall fertility rate in Australia and the United States is 1.6 births per woman. It is 1.3 in Japan, which is becoming older. According to the Center of Policy Studies in Australia, if no changes are made to China's pension system, pension payments will increase fivefold from 4% of GDP in 2020 to 20% of GDP in 2100. These developments are expected to need a reorientation of experts away from China for resource exporting countries such as Australia. The source of products for importers of commodities, including the United States, is expected to increasingly move towards new and rising industrial centers. Despite predictions that this would be the Chinese century, population estimates indicate that power may shift elsewhere, especially to neighboring India, 
whose population is predicted to surpass China's within the next decade. Musk stated that he is a unique exception as a wealthy person with many children, continuing his population debate. In contrast, most wealthy people he knows have zero or one child. Contrary to popular belief, the wealthier a person is, the fewer children they have. I am an unusual exception. Musk has suggested that the myth that people are not having children because it is bad for the environment is complete rubbish. Musk isn't willing to back down on his opinion about population and childbirth. But what about you? Let us know what you think on this topic. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.